In this video, we're going to look at how to collaborate. This includes assignments, group projects, direct invites, everything you need to know about collaborating with Soundtrap for Education. So the first thing to understand is, are you doing an individual project or a group project? But generally, the assignment feature is best for individual projects. And direct invites are best for group projects, where you want the group in the same project collaborating together. This is a visualization to help you understand that when you create an assignment, it's gonna create a copy for each student. You and that student will be a collaborator on that copy, and all students will have their own separate copies. A direct invite for a group project involves creating the project and then directly inviting each student to that project. The teacher can create those invites or the students can create those invites, but each person needs to be invited directly in order to have access to that project and work on it together as a group. Assignments create a copy for each student, make the teacher a collaborator automatically, and puts all those copies in a folder that the teacher can access. So you would click the Create Assignment button. You can choose to create something from scratch, a new assignment, or something based on an existing project. You'll be able to share this in several different ways. Generally, you're gonna share using a link. You can share to a group, but make sure you understand that this is not for a group project. It's still gonna create an individual copy for each student in that group. This just allows you to avoid copying and pasting that link and sharing it through some other method. If you do choose to share an assignment using a link, you'll get something like this. You copy that link and you'll share that out. When a student clicks that link, it will take them into the studio, create that copy for them, and once they save for the first time, that will add that project to your folder that includes all the copies of that assignment. Direct invites, again, they're best for group projects where you want everyone to collaborate. All collaborators will have equal access and you can invite from inside or outside the studio. So from outside the studio, you can go to your My Projects page, click this invite button and invite students. So you'll need to type in their names and invite them one by one. You can also invite from inside the studio. So on the far right, you go to this collaboration tab, click invite, and then you again, type in the name of each student that you want to invite. So keep in mind, if you wanna see your students work, you must use one of these methods. Student projects will not automatically be added to a teacher's projects. You need to use one of these methods to get access. Hopefully that clears everything up on collaboration. If you still have questions, make sure to join our Soundtrap for Education Facebook group where you can connect with other teachers, get inspiration, and solve problems together. I would also encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can easily see new videos as we release them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.